Okay, so the previous question, we calculated all of these answers to the questions A, B, C, D, E. And we've left area of trapezium A, B, C, D, E for a, a separate video because it's quite a lot of details we need to work out how to work out the area of this trapezium. So if you want to work out, want to see how A, B, C, D, E and E are done, just check the link below and you'll see that. So now area of the trapezium, A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D. That's the trapezium we're looking for. So where do we start? Well, first of all, formula for area of a trapezium. So that is half times the height, shortest plus longest. And all we do now is just multiply them by half times the height. So our first question is to find out what the height is. So we know that B and C make the height. And then we've got A, and then we've got down to D, comes down here like this. And then this is a right angle, so that's all good. So now we've got point P in the middle, A at the top, and D over here. So we need to find out this length, this length, and this length. And then we can do half the height and then that'll give us the answer. So the height is BC. So we need the absolute value of the vector BC. So BC, so first of all, that would be the absolute value of the vector C. Sorry, let's just write that out again a little bit better. Absolute value of the vector. C minus B. Okay. Oh, let's get that better. Okay, so that equals, so C minus B. C is 114. So absolute value. 114 minus B, which is minus 138. Okay, so now we just take the subtraction of that. So now we've got absolute value, one minus minus one, so that's the modulus, sorry, of two. One minus three is minus two. Four minus eight is minus four. And then there we go. So now to work this out, we take the square root of each of those. So we can say that absolute value of BC equals square root 2 squared plus minus 2 squared plus minus 4 squared, which equals, that's a 4, minus 2 squared is a 4, minus 4 squared is 16, so that equals square root of 24, and knowing your thirds, that will be 2 root 6. Okay, so let's continue this formula over here. So we've got a half times two root six. Okay, that's where we got so far. So now the shortest and the longest. Let's start with the shortest, AB. Well, we know AB is this one here. So therefore, the absolute value of AB, or the modulus, is square root. 1, 1, and minus, so 1 minus 1 and 1. So they're all 1s, so that's square root of 3. So this one here is square root of 3. Now, before we calculate PC and DP, we know that AB is the same as PC and DP, so we can save ourselves a bit of time here. Instead of going through all the calculations, we just know that these two are also square root of 3. So therefore the whole line is 2 root 3. So now we can write in here root 3 plus 2 root 3. Okay, let's simplify this up a bit. 
half times two, that would just be one, so that's square root of six, times three root three. So two root three plus one root three, three root three. Okay. So this will simplify out as root six, put it all in, into thirds. Root three is root nine and root three. Multiply these all up together. Six nines are 54 times three is 162. So we get square root 162. So that equals 162 we divide by nine. So nines into 162 go 18. So 18 would also be square root of 2 in there, so we got square root of 2. So square root of 2 is the area of our trapezium. Thanks for watching.